Now, in 1960, you published an article uh, under the pen name John Armstrong, and this was perhaps the beginning of your thoughts regarding indexation. So can you talk a bit about that? Yeah, actually, the beginning of my thoughts go all the way back to the thesis. Sure. And I, I do, do explain why the index and how it works mm -hmm. when I say that mutual funds can make no claim to su superiority. A little superficial. Uh, we didn't have the kind of database we had today, probably just as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, But then the industry changed. And before it changed, we had really a pretty good industry. We weren't selling a bunch of wild funds. Uh, this is an industry group. Uh, direct distribution was coming into play, and that was the strongest part of the industry for a while. Mm -hmm. But we're selling middle-of-the-road funds, mm -hmm. either stock funds or balance funds, and uh, concentrating on that and working through broker-dealers who had some, with, with our wholesalers, through broker-dealers who had some idea of, if not suitability, I don't think that was in the books though, in those days, might have been, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, kind of a, uh, not, a, not a speculative market at all. Mm -hmm. And uh, then all of a sudden comes the change, the go-go era. Well, the era I described in 1960 in that article, and let me first be very, very blunt about it, of course, I'm a party line guy. That's why I wrote the article. Mm -hmm. and we ran a managed fund, and I'm happy to prove that, that the, uh, the idea of an index fund is bad. Mm -hmm. uh, that actually is a poor formulation on my part, because it was really, there should be a Dow Jones Industrial Average Index Fund. Right. And when you go through what it takes to run one, it's mm -hmm. an extremely complex average to operate, and the amount of turnover you've had, and the amount you have to, you have to change the holdings so with some frequency, because it's price-related. Uh, not price related, but market by the number of stocks have to, have to always total 30. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, and it would be very expensive to do. So I look at this terrible index, really a bad index, although in the long run it's, it produces, like any other diversified portfolio, mm -hmm. about the same returns as the market. Mm -hmm. every, every diversified portfolio really does that. Uh, but uh, it was a bad index in a good industry, mm. in an industry which is playing everything down the middle. And yeah, no, they're not winning by anything because they have costs. Uh, we didn't have a big performance race. But it was a kind of a slow-moving, conservative industry. And if you put your money into a mutual fund, by and large, you were not going to get hurt. Mm -hmm. And then we have, and that's when I wrote the article. Mm. The math didn't work. And then I did comparisons. The funds had actually done better than the, than the Dow Jones. And, and better, I think, then than the S&P. I, I did have a couple of other data points. And uh, then everything changes. Mm -hmm. We get a good index, a great index, mm -hmm. a market cap weighted index. It was available then, but people weren't paying any attention. Standard & Poor's 50, it was then. And it was not you know, particularly well known or popular. It was all the Dow, the Dow, the Dow, the Dow. Up 20 points, down 20 points in those days, big. Up 100 points every, every once in a while later on. Uh, but um, we, and, and along comes a, 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 a bad industry. Mm -hmm. This industry became a total marketing business. Mm -hmm. It became an opportunistic business. It became a business creating uh, expectations on past performance that could never possibly be duplicated in right. the future. So not the whole industry, but a large part of it. And very, very few sponsors were exempt from this little disease mm -hmm. called gogoism, right. or whatever you want to call it. So, summers to summarize, of course I was defending the status quo because I was been in the business for nine years. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Mm -hmm. But it was a reasoned right. status quo. Right. Indexing the yes, the Dow Jones average was a terrible thing to to have tried to emulate, and I don't think anybody has ever even bothered it. So, um, and then things changed. So there's a true reason, mm -hmm. and then there's the fact that, that the times change. And uh, as I think it's Justice Frankfurter said, Andy, sometimes wisdom comes late. Mm -hmm. Sometimes wisdom never comes. So when, even when it comes late, it's a good idea to honor it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good.